How are you guys doing? Well, here's Creation Watches, and we're going to talk about the Seiko. Seiko Tuna. Now here's an example. Seiko Prospect Marine Master Professional SBBN 007 300 meter men's watch. Sold out, of course. Now, here's some of the details about it. Now, you can see here the tuna can or just tuna sports a, finit, a fit and finish or case and bezel better than some of the most wonderful pieces, e.g., Monsters and Massive 2. Here's some of the features. Divers watch movement as quartz, caliber SBBN007, crystal, convex crystal, bezel, unidirectional bezel, stainless steel case, case diameter 48 millimeters, case thickness 14 millimeters, water resistance 300 meters, bracelet, strap, rubber, and battery type SR. 43SW. Some of the more information here. Pretty much says the same thing. So it's a pretty good size watch. Analog dial. Luminous hands, of course. Dotted markers. And this one comes on a rubber strap. So a lot of people really like these watches, these tuna type watches. Just a good example of one here that was on Creation Watches. So we'll go from here. Now we're on AliExpress. And this is a homage of a tuna style watch. And we're going to take a look at that. So this one is Lugu San Martin Tuna Automatic Men's Diving Watch Stainless Steel 30 Bar NH35 Black Dial Date Display Metal Bracelet Super Glow. We'll just get down here and take a look at what we can find on it. Specifications. Okay, San Martin, folding clasp of safety, 30 bar stainless steel, mechanical hand, hand wind, 19 centimeter band length, um, case shape round, plastic boxes, band width 22 millimeters, mechanical, luminous, diver, water resistance, luminous hands, Dial diameter 47 millimeter. This one's got a stainless steel band. Case thickness 0 0.8 millimeters. Sapphire crystal. Of course, the automatic movement. Okay, that was interesting. It just goes to show you how you can find a homage watch. There we go, some more of the information on it. The luminescence, of course. The case it comes in. There's the case back of it. Look on the case back. It says NH36. That must be the movement in it then. An NH36 movement, which is actually a Seiko movement. You can see where it says Sapphire Crystal on the case back. 300 um, meters water resistance.
screwed in case back, stainless steel, 3G engraved shark mark. It's not too bad a looking watch, at least in the pictures, is it? It's a homage watch. A homage watch is one that's based on the real watches. It'll have the manufacturer's brand name on it, but it's just based on the real watches. It can look quite a bit like it, but not exactly. Just the different pictures to look at here. We'll go to this one right here. There's one that has the date feature on it too. $311.80. Okay, this one. Case diameter 47 millimeters, thickness 15.2 millimeters, band width 22 millimeters, stainless steel, stainless steel bezel, steel ceramic top ring, sapphire bu bubble convex, stainless steel band, stainless steel clasp, automatic NH36 movement, it's got the the date on it, 300 meters water resistance, some different color versions, San Martin watches, There's the, the clasp at the back. Deploy ant clasp by the looks of it. And here's one with the, the strap. Forty seven millimeter case diameter on this one. Strap fluorine rubber. NH thirty six movement. Here's another one. With the bracelet. This is Steel Dive SD1975 Black Dial Ceramic Bezel 30 ATM 300 meters waterproof stainless steel NH35 Tuna Men's Dive Watch. So this one's NH35. The other ones we looked at were NH36. So we'll take a look at this. Just another homage of the tomb I watch. Some other models there. These other ones aren't tuna watches, but they're just some of the other watches offered by brands. Specifications. So brand name Steel Dive, clasp type buckle. 30 bar stainless steel, mechanical hand wind, automatic self wind, 26 centimeter band length, just a sports divers, round, boxes plastic band width, 22 millimeters, mechanical, luminous hands, 
stainless steel band material type sapphire crystal that's important to know and of course the brand is steel dive okay so it's quite interesting Three sixteen L stainless steel, of course. So you notice the, the real Seiko, tu Seiko Tuna that was on Creation Watches had a quartz movement and these homages have an automatic movement. Okay, now I just moved on to the steel dive listings. The first one here is what we just looked at. Just some other ones here. Of Seiko homages, some other homage watches. Just to show you what kind of offerings they have. Still on AliExpress, another homage of the tuna. That one is um, the brand Addies. Maybe all these brands are just the same company made in the same factory, maybe. See the specifications of that one. So the Addies ones are. Just go through quick here. 47, pretty much similar specifications. This is the NH35 automatic movement. The luminous is uh, Swiss C3 bright night light. Sapphire glass again. Stainless steel. And we're back on creation watches again. And back to the, the real tuna. Like it says here, the Marine Master needs no introduction, more so when it's the tuna. So here's the tuna again. Just another example of one. So this one case diameter 47.7 millimeters. What is the... Uh... Yeah, this is uh, SBBN033. Tuna watch. So this one's a quartz movement again. Screw, screw down crown. Screw down case back. Hardlex crystal. No Samajas had sapphire. These ones have hardlex crystal. Water resistance 300 meters. This one's got a silicone band. This is the one we looked at in the first place. I just wanted to show you guys some of the real Seiko Prospect Marine Masters or Seiko Tunas. I just wanted to show you some of the real ones, a few of them, and some of the homages which are on AliExpress. Just something out of interest. Just to compare them. 
and just remember how Mod Watch what it is. It's just um, they put their own name brand on it and they just base some of the design on the real one. It's not an exact copy or a replica, it's just a uh, homage. So just wanted to show you the difference. thought you guys would just be interested to see that there are homages available of the tuna. And you can see the difference of the prices. Some of the homages were around $200 and a little bit higher than that. And you can see that the real ones here are around $800. So what do you guys think? What do you think of all these watches? So you feel free to comment in the comment section and have a good day.